Well, families hoping to visit a popular pumpkin patch in Fresno this weekend were caught by surprise. Fox 26 News learned that Planet Pumpkin, the often eaten first, was shut down Friday by the city because of permit, permits and electrical concerns. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Lesio spoke with the owner of Planet Pumpkin, and she's live with an update to this. Well, you could say it's not so spectacular closing, right, Sophia? Yeah, that's right, Liz. When I was out here earlier, we did see a lot of people coming out hoping that Planet Pumpkin was going to be open, but it is not. And as you can see right here, it is still closed. Now, the owner does tell me that he has completed everything required to open. Now he's just waiting on the city's approval. Instead of big crowds, Planet Pumpkin off of knees and first sat empty Monday, closed by an order of the city of Fresno, a big financial hit with losses around $20,000 a day, according to the owner, Russ Nakata. They came by in person and said, hey, these, these things have to go, you have to close. So we immediately closed. He says the city shut down Planet Pumpkin Friday over permits and electrical concerns. According to city attorney Andrew Jans, the site requires a temporary use permit and an event permit. He told Fox 26 one of the permits was approved October 9th, but the event permit has not been approved to date. We have serious concerns about the use of electricity at the event location. The safety of the community, especially that of our children, continues to be a top priority for the city of Fresno. We are obligated to change the lights. They said that the, that was no longer allowed. Nakata says he has no idea about the change in regulations with lights. Over the weekend, his crew fixed everything the city asked of the pumpkin patch in hopes of reopening Monday. We will be opening, but it's not our call. Um, the city has their process and we're more than happy to, you know, work with the city. He also wanted to clear up a rumor that has been circulating. Some people who shall go unnamed have been saying that we're closed because there was some weird accident involving a kid or something. And that was not the case. Nakata tells me that because of the, the closure, it did cause cancellations of field trips and other events that were hosted over the weekend, but he hopes to open tomorrow. That just depends on the city's inspection. Liz? All right, thanks so much, Sophia. Now, the pumpkin patch says that once it does reopen, it plans to stay open until Halloween night.